morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to our Sport Code series. Uh, today we're going to do something a bit more contemporary. Uh, in the past couple of days, we've looked at uh, Tweed, we've looked at Wool Cashmere, uh, which are more or less um, uh, more formal. Well, I wouldn't say formal, but they're, they're more appropriate for a business environment, uh, something a bit more dressy. Now, we'll look at, we're going to look today at something a bit more contemporary, something a bit more fun. Uh, something you can wear to a party on the weekend um, and so on and so forth. Uh, what I have on today actually I call my travel outfit. I call it my travel outfit because it's very comfortable. It's made of fabrics that are very very relaxed and wrinkle free. Um, they're all weaves and I'm going to talk about congruity uh, in fabrics or sort of in combining clothes and, and picking uh, combination fabrics. Uh, in a little bit but let's focus on the sport coat uh, for now so what I have on today is a navy sport coat um, with burgundy window panes navy with burgundy window panes let me come a bit closer look at the weave it's a basket weave It's a deep navy with burgundy window panes. Now, why did I pick this particular fabric? Uh, typically, the default for a lot of people is to go for a navy blazer, a traditional navy blazer, which is ubiquitous. Everyone has one. Um, and you can see them pretty much at every ready-to-wear store. But um, if you want to distinguish yourself from the crowd, set yourself apart from the uh, crowd, one way to do that is to go with navy but find a very, very subtle, a very subtle design uh, that sets it apart from the sea of navy blazers. So, and this is what I've done here, is go with a very, very subtle window pane. It's almost indistinguishable from a distance. From a distance, it looks entirely like a navy coat. You couldn't even tell it apart from a navy coat. But on closer inspection, you can see not only does it have the window panes, the burgundy window panes, but it's a weave. So you have that beautiful surface interest to it when you come a bit closer. Another look. And so that's it for the coat. Something like this, obviously, you can wear it with flannel trousers, uh, you can wear it with grey trousers, you can wear it to the office uh, with a fairly conservative tie and a white shirt and it would still pass muster. Uh, you could also dress it down as I've done today with something a bit more casual, a bit more flamboyant, um, a bit more edgy and sort of wear it to a party or something on a weekend or something very casual. So that's it for the coat. Um, it's a conventional coat, two button coat. Soft shoulders, ample lapels, patch pockets, all the hallmarks of Neapolitan tailoring. It's got the Neapolitan shoulder, spalla, palloncino, and then the back, of course. Very well tailored. And inside, it's a, a half-lined jacket. In other words, because of the uh, because of the thickness of the material, uh, I've gone with a half lining just to allow the jacket to breathe a little bit. And that's about it for the jacket. Uh, now let's talk about the other part of the outfit, which is how do you combine something like this? Today I've gone for a very contemporary look. So I've gone for a salmon pair of. Uh, casual trousers. Uh, these trousers, I call them my travel trousers and they are the secret sauce in my wardrobe and I, I, I really, I highly, I couldn't recommend them anymore. Um, they are made from cotton, jersey cotton, as you can see. They are made from jersey cotton. They stretch, they're very comfortable, uh, but they are cut like dress trousers. They're cut like dress trousers and so I call these my travel trousers uh, because a 
essentially what they do is that they, they play the role of a pair of jeans but just so much more comfortable and dressy uh, or alternatively for a lot of people who otherwise travel with track suits or, or sweatpants uh, for the additional comfort uh, because they just don't want to feel bound up in the plane this is a perfect substitute um, it's very beautiful it's soft fabric it feels like you're wearing sweat sweatpants but then it's just very dressy and you can throw a spot coat over it and voila you have an amazing very very well tailored elegant outfit with the additional comfort of course so that's what i have on today it's a pair of salmon uh jersey trousers from ariston cotton the cotton is from the fabric mill ariston and by the way the jacket is from Acropoli. so this is a jacket fabric actually i got it directly from diego himself uh, who is the great grandson of the founder of the company um, I, I got this length uh, Diego recommended it to me and uh, it turned out quite well so Diego if you're watching thank you very much um, and then what else do I have on today I have on uh, just because of the casual intent of the outfit I've gone with a pair of very dark brown uh, Belgian loafers have a look Very dark brown Belgian loafers, very comfortable, and they basically it's entirely congruous with the rest of the outfit. The socks are a navy and red shadow stripe. Again, picking up the navy in the coat and the burgundy, well, actually more like navy and burgundy shadow stripe. So basically, overall, it's a, a very, very uh, synchronous outfit. The shirt, again, is a white background white background just to provide a canvas for everything else but what I've done is I rather than go for a dull white shirt I've gone for a weave if you take a closer look it's a cotton weave so you have essentially entire congruity in the entire outfit you've got a woven tie it's a silk it's a woven tie it's a it's a, it's a silk weave knit actually it's a knit tie which has a weave in it so basically you've got texture everywhere you've got texture in the tie it's a knit tie you've got texture in the shirt you've got a beautiful textured pair of trousers in cotton and then finally to cap it off you've got this beautiful textured sport jacket so that's it that's it for today um thank you for watching um I thought I'd do something a bit different, uh, something less stuffy, so to speak. So this is sort of what I've come up with. And so going forward, I'm going to keep playing with different ideas, with sport coats, and just sort of to offer you guys some variety and see all the amazing things you could do with a very comprehensive, well thought out uh, sport coat wardrobe. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. Goodbye.